What is up folks, this is Kevin David Rail, and today I'm going to be answering a question that I got, which is what is the best cardio machine? Well, the answer to that question is all cardio machines are the best. The best cardio machine for you is the one, A, that you're going to use on a regular basis, and B, the one that's gonna be safe on your body. For example, if you have an issue with impact, if you have a bad knee or a bad ankle or a bad back, obviously running is not gonna be a good option for you, so you're not gonna to wanna to use a treadmill. You do, in fact, though, want to do cardio to keep your heart strong, to burn calories, and to stay in good shape from a cardiovascular standpoint. Don't listen to all of the fear mongers out there who say cardio makes you fat because it doesn't. That's a big lie. It's stupidity. Don't buy into it. So there's a bike right here, obviously, recumbent bike with a seat. This is not the best cardio machine for me. I'm going to tell you about what my favorite cardio machine is. And another thing is I want to talk to you about this tool right here called the Jacob's Ladder, which I don't feel gets enough respect. I am a huge fan of crawling. I'm a huge fan of crossbody patterns and complex movement. And you are gonna get it on this machine right here. So I'm gonna demonstrate how to use this, I'm gonna tell you a little bit more about it, and then we're gonna get down to business. So it has a strap right here that hooks around your body. And on the bottom, it has this little gauge of heights. So what you wanna do is you wanna slide this little dial to the height that is closest to what your height is. I'm about 6'3", so I'm gonna slide it down to the six foot three mark, which is right about there. Then you simply take it, Wrap it around your waist, snap it into place, and you snug up the tension, and then you tuck it in behind you. Now you're ready for action. This is actually a body weight oriented machine as well, which I absolutely love because it's green and it saves the planet, and any chance I get to preserve the planet and spread positive chi, I will do so. So you simply do this. You start walking up it, and then it starts moving on its own. It's body weight activated. If you stay low on the Jacob's Ladder, it's gonna go slower. If you go higher, it's gonna go faster. Watch. See? And you can regulate how fast or slow you go throughout your whole workout. Now the way it works is this. You wanna move your opposite hand and opposite foot at the same time. See, right hand, left foot, left hand, right foot. And then we simply just crawl. And I'm gonna get it moving right now. And on the reader here, it has your rate feet per minute. So I like to stay around 70 to 80. And when I'm really ripping it, I try to get all the way up to 100. And as you can see, I'm starting to puff and puff already. And I've only got about 30 seconds, and I'm not even really going that fast. So this thing will give you an incredible workout. And you're getting the benefits of crawling. And you're getting a lot of core work, too, because you need to keep your back straight and your core tight as you're doing the Jacob's Ladder. So you're burning calories, it's low impact, and it's lots and lots of fun at the same time. I'm going to go for one full minute. i got five seconds left. I just want to show you how my heart is pounding. Okay. And then you just slide to the bottom and it stops automatically. So this is my personal favorite machine. I'm not saying it's the best in the gym, but it's my favorite one. Now, if you want to try a Jacob's Ladder, look for one at your local gym. If you don't have a Jacob's Ladder, but you have a stairway, guess what? You do have a Jacob's Ladder. Hang tight. Well, hello there. I'm back. I told you, if you have a stairway, you have a Jacob's Ladder. As you can see, I am standing on a stairway right now. Something you may not have taken into consideration is the angle of a stairway is very similar to that of a Jacob's Ladder. And most of the time, we, unless we're horribly, terribly drunk, which we shouldn't be, we usually walk up a stairway or we walk back down. But guess what? You can crawl up and down this stairway just like a squirrel for hours on end if you wanted to. And this can simulate that of a Jacob's Ladder and you can regulate your speed as well. All right, so let me show you how that's done. We're gonna come to the bottom rung. We're gonna place a hand on it, and our other hand and our other foot, and we're just gonna crawl up the stairs. And there we go, we're Jacob's laddering right now. And then we can go in reverse. It's a lot of fun going in reverse, which we can't do on the actual Jacob's ladder machine, but we can do it on this stairway. And you just go back and forth. And my heart rate is already going up. And then you can go faster. and then come down slow. I always suggest going down slow because you do not want to uh, have a major accident on the way down. It's gonna be a lot more challenging on the way up. My legs are starting to burn already, by the way. And you can also crawl up and then land on a rung here, turn around and then jog back down. And then crawl back up. And then turn and jog back down. So as you can see, You've got a bunch of things you can do here from this stairway that's gonna simulate the Jacob's Ladder. You can crawl up, crawl back down, crawl up, crawl back down, crawl up, jog back down, go up and reverse. I mean, go up straight, come back and reverse. 
And you can take this to the outdoors as well. If you happen to have a stadium nearby or any kind of building with an external stairway that has a really long stairs to it. Then you can crawl up that sucker, jog back down or crawl back down and go back and forth as many times as you like. All right. So bottom line is this, the Jacob's ladder is fun. The motion of crawling is fun and it's very safe for you too. And it's good for your brain. It's good for your core. It's good for your body. It burns calories and it makes you look good when you're finished and it makes you feel good as well because it's very, very good for the whole entire body from head to toe inside and out. So that is your tutorial on the Jacob's Ladder. Give it a spin. Let me know if you have any questions or comments and enjoy life every chance you get. This is Kevin David Rail. Till next time.